All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Bears training camp is officially here. We got live looks of Caleb Williams in training camp. We're finally here. It's Saturday, July 20th. Um, apparently, the defense was phenomenal today. You got to keep in mind, guys, the Bears had the best scoring defense in the second half last season in the National Football League. In fact, the Bears defense was top category top five or the best in a lot of defensive categories this is who your rookie hopeful franchise quarterback is going up against every single day every single day all right so we got a bunch of rumors news reports um, everything from chicago bears day one of of train camp so let's get into it before we do i got everyone um from twitter whose clips these are go check them out because i think I can't remember when the first open day for uh, fans is, but it's, I don't think it's until next week. Um, so yeah, shout out to the media members for, for covering the Chicago bears. They do a phenomenal job. Uh, but before we get any further into today's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily bears and NFL content. We're going to be covering this team in training camp every single day. And yeah, if we could try and get this video to 150 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. But I'm amped up. I hope you guys are too. We just downed a bunch of coffees. Uh, Josh Friedman, we have a just kind of summary of the day here on Twitter. The first Bears training camp practice is in the books. A short and sweet 90-minute session with some 11 v. 11 and two-minute drill without pads. One of the highlights was Caleb Williams catching his own pass deflected by Jervon Dexter and taking off towards the sideline with it. So once again... Uh, appears like the defense had a phenomenal day today. Uh, guys like Jaquan Brisker, Javon Dexter Sr. Uh, music to my ears because those are both two young cats. You know, we're actually going to talk about the defensive line in just a second here. Or actually, while we're on topic here, uh, the Bears do feel comfortable at defensive end, but they're not going to rule out adding to the group. So this is something to keep an eye on during training camp. Javon Dexter Sr. was... I think he was doing some warm-up drills with the edge rushers today, and that went on Twitter, and people were losing their mind, and they were calling Ryan Poles and the Bears organization like poor or just bad planning because they thought they were trying to turn Dexter into an edge rusher. He was just showcasing his athleticism, and uh, he's a defensive tackle. The defensive end's really important, obviously, in the NFL, but you have Montez Sweat, and then the rookie Booker, in my opinion... I don't know if it's going to be right away, but at the end of the season, I think he will be your starting opposite defensive edge rusher uh, with Montez Sweat. But we heard this quote from Ryan Poles on Friday at Hallis Hall. We feel really comfortable with the guys that we have on our roster now. We will always have our eyes on the list of players we can potentially bring in. Uh, Matt Eberflus also said some stuff about Caleb Williams when asked how long he'd play quarterback Caleb Williams in their four preseason games. Isn't it 3 0 oh, because of the Hall of Fame game? Uh, head coach Matt Eberflus referenced last year's rookie class, and they received about 45 to 55 snaps. And then Caleb Williams said that any reps he gets in the preseason are valuable. And he also mentioned that practicing against his own defense could be just as beneficial. So it's, you know, what we were talking about at the beginning of this video. You're going up against one of the best defenses, or at least scoring defenses, in the NFL in the second half last season you're going up against all pro players like Jalen Johnson every single day you're going up against one of the best linebacker tandems in Edwards and Edmonds in the NFL and then you've got dudes like Montez Sweat you know trying to rip your head off like pads aren't on but you get what I'm saying here uh, Keenan Allen was impressed with high praise for Roma Dunze now he was gone today for personal reasons but he will be back in action for day two but he did Keenan Allen did say about Roma Dunze that he's a little better than he was coming Coming into the league he's faster and he comes out of breaks better and more polished um and then we heard just kind of going on with uh, you know the offense in general feels a sense of urgency to get off to a fast start you know dj moore said when he was asked how quickly the bears need to get up to speed in shane waldron's offense he said to reporters tomorrow cole Komet said the same thing yeah now it's got to happen quickly we don't have time to meander through this thing and jalen johnson was just in his presser like literally like a half hour ago talking about the outside expectations for the bears he said he's tired of upside and potential and wants to go out there and prove it saying he's all about it's all about executing on sunday so jalen johnson you know, thank goodness this dude is back in a chicago bears uniform i remember 
remember when that was kind of up in the air towards the end of last season. But he said the talent on the Bears offense and defense going up against each other at practice is like Alabama versus Georgia with five star players. And then when you go up against three star players in games, that's when you start to dominate. So just love what I'm hearing about this offense from every defensive member, especially my all pro cornerback and Jalen Johnson. Um, speaking of the offense, DJ Moore said that this is he was asked if this is the most talented roster he's been a part of. And he said pretty much what Jalen Johnson said earlier this month. He said, yeah, you got competition at every position. It's going to be a fun camp. And then when he was asked about Caleb Williams, he had nothing but good words, good praise for him. He said, Caleb's just a leader. He took control of the huddle. His arm talent was amazing. That's what stood out. I'm looking forward to seeing it in full speed against the defense with full pads. Now, just finally, um, we'll stop talking about the offense here. One thing they were really focusing on is, you know, offensive line. Braxton Jones, uh, you've got Darnell Wright from last season, phenomenal right tackle. You've got some really good tackles. We want to see Braxton Jones get back to that consistency that we saw in his rookie season. Uh, but they brought in Ryan Bates to be their new starting center. And he was you know, mainly the first team guy today, but we did see some other guys get uh, first team reps at the center position. So that's really the only offensive line thing I'm monitoring is, is how's Ryan Bates doing? Because this is somebody Ryan Poles wanted over a year ago at last year's offseason, and they finally got him this year. Uh, defensively, like we said, Trevon Dexter Sr. had a good day. Uh, seems like the whole secondary in general had a really freaking good day. Uh, guys like Daquan Brisker, Elijah Hicks making plays against Caleb Williams. It's easy to overreact, and I'm sure Twitter will over and probably already is because it didn't seem like Caleb Williams had the best of days today. But you know, keep in mind he's a rookie, and it's just important, in my opinion, to keep in mind that you're going up against one of the best defenses in the National Football League. Uh, Williams, you know, obviously reportedly really struggled with inconsistency during OTAs earlier in the offseason, uh, but what he really struggled in was the red zone. Ooh. We're judging performances from May, where you literally were drafted to your team like a month prior to that. And, you know, May was also, what, two over two months ago. So, yeah, he might have not had the best day today, but that's going to go, that's going to subside relatively quickly. Keep in mind, in his last year with USC, he completed 68.6% .6 of his throws. He threw for over 3,600 yards, 30 touchdowns, only five interceptions. He ended his college career winning the 2022 Heisman, 93 total touchdown passes, only 14 picks. This guy's a freaking winner. He's a freaking baller, and it's just great to see him live in action, even though I know it's not live preseason, not live football, but we're we're back. Training camp practice is back. Football is back. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Let me know down below what player are you keeping the most keen eye on down below in training camp. Uh, but let me know who what you guys are thinking about day one. Stay tuned. Like I said, we're going to be trying to cover this every single day on this channel. So hit that like button. Hit that sub button. And we'll see you tomorrow.